Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Tracy with Flow Physical Therapy and Pilates, and I'm going to show you some good core Pilates work that you can do at home, and you can use a band to help you with it. This also is going to integrate a little bit of arm work, which is a nice sneaky way to get that core to kick in a little bit more. So this first one, again, I always tie loops at the ends of my bands, and like I said, you can, in the past videos, I've said you can tie a knot in the middle, toss it through a door, close the door on it so that the door frame and the door hold it steady. You're gonna lay down on the floor for these. So this first set is good for people if they do not have like bulging discs or neck problems. If you have either of these, wait until the next series of stuff that I'm gonna show and pass this one up. So you're going to fix this on something kind of stable and sturdy, like a doorknob, a bedpost, sometimes table legs work. Anything you can find that's not going to move when you pull on it. So this first one is called roll downs. With roll downs, we're trying to go down all the way flat, putting one vertebrae at a time down. So in order to do that, you have to be able to use these lower abdominals to tighten them. So this bone and this bone, pelvic bones, they're gonna draw towards each other. You're gonna feel tension between the two of them, like they're trying to come together, hug, or if they were headlights, like they're trying to cross. So we wanna think of that. The other thing you wanna think of is being nice and tall as you start out. And then the last thing is that you need to be able to let your pelvis roll back. So when I go back, it's not this leading with my upper back. It's starting low and waiting a while for my upper back to kick in. The bands are actually a little helper. This is a mat Pilates exercise, but the bands are a modification to actually make it a little easier so that you can work your way to the mat exercise. So in sitting, you can either sit with the legs nice and straight, if you can sit on those sits bones with a nice straight back and not feel like it's pulling at your back. If you feel that, let your knees bend just a little bit. It's not cheating, it's getting you into good posture. You can also, if you wanna challenge, put the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out. And this is like a diamond shape and it actually is a little bit harder. So I'm going to show you with the knees bent a little because my hamstrings are tight too. So I'm going to take both of these and I'm going to actually hold my hands together, one on top of the other, and make this nice like round shape here. You're going to sit tall to start, abs are going to be active, shoulders are down, not up, and you're going to exhale as you round that low back, think of pulling your pubic bone towards your rib cage. And think of placing one vertebrae at a time down until the last thing there is your head. You're going to pull two times, elbows wide, again, no shrugging. And then you're going to inhale, feel like you're lengthening the back of your neck or lightly tucking your chin and lifting that head, curling up, thinking you stacking vertebrae one at a time coming up to sit nice and tall again. So again, sitting tall for the inhale, exhale, round that low back, placing one vertebrae at a time down, pull, inhale to lengthen the neck, tighten those lower abdominals, rolling up to a nice tall sitting position. So the modifications on this over time, you can challenge it a little bit. So the next one we're gonna do is gonna incorporate a little bit of arm work and it's more of a partial roll down. So you're only gonna go to about here. Arms are separated now. You can hold this, make sure these lower abdominals are kicking in and it doesn't look like a pooch. If it looks like a pooch, you're using the wrong muscles. So drawing in here, keeping that rounded feeling you're going to do bicep curls. So again, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. The other ones that you can do, you can press out, keeping the arms nice and straight and feel those shoulder blades and the back of the shoulders doing the work. You can also do a twist with a little rotation and that works a little more on the obliques. As long as you think it's chest bone doing the rotation and it's not just your head and your shoulder going. So that's a series that you can do to work on that core strength and then to add a little bit with the arms. So for the other one, we're wanting to support our back a little bit more, or if you have a bulging disc or a neck problem, we're gonna reverse things a little bit and use our arms to challenge our core. So you're gonna lay on your back, knees bent, feet flat, hanging onto your band, Abs are tight, you're gonna have a little space underneath your low back, but it's not gonna be an arch, it's just a nice little one with ribs connected down to it. With abs active, you're gonna bring one leg up to tabletop, then the next. Just this position alone can feel challenging sometimes for people. So if this is too much, then you put your feet down. If it's too easy, you can play around with leg variations, but we're gonna show you here. So draw those shoulders down, and you're going to exhale as you press the arms, inhale as they come up. Exhale them down, squeezing those shoulder blades, pressing them into the mat, inhaling up. You can play with it, like I said, with variations. You can straighten the legs to challenge your core a little more. You can go lower. You can even do little splits. You can do arm circles. So arm circles, you press down, slide it out, bring it up to the center. Pressing it down, sliding it out, inhaling up. You can reverse that, exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, inhaling. If you feel your low back, check in on your abs or check in on your legs. The lower your thighs go, the more strain it puts on your back. So if you're feeling your back, first check your legs. Are they straight up and down or are they past straight up and down? Then check your abdominals. If you still feel like you cannot do it without feeling your back, then put your feet down. The last one you can do, and it's a little bit, again, of arm work, you can just press down and hold that press, or you can even lift if your neck allows, and just do a little out and in with the leg. You can alternate. So you would inhale with the movement, exhale as the leg comes in. Inhale, exhale. The whole while, don't let these shrug. Think of keeping these down, abs active. So, with all of these, start out small. Think five repetitions and move your way up to 10 maximum. Always use your body as your guide. If your back is hurting, it's too much. Your back should never hurt with these exercises. You should feel lots of core, some arms, some legs, but never, ever your low back. I hope you enjoy these. I hope they're helpful and you get to use them at home and get stronger and healthier.